An important thing here is unlike the normal process whereby we have a lot of data, of course you review the data properly, but we don't have that, right? Because the, the concern is by the time you wait for all the data to come, it's too late, right? It, it'll be, even if you wanted to buy it then, you, you have money to pay, no one will sell it to you. So the idea is you need to take risks and need to take bets, but because you have to, we wanted to do that, we, we need to spread the bets a little bit to sort of say that, okay, we can't put all our eggs in one basket. We need to have a combination of advanced purchase agreements and, and other things. So, so to make sure that hopefully if one or more of them fail, at the end of the day, we have something. I, I think that was the motivating factor. At the end of the day, I, I think, and, and here Server Service was certainly very clear about that. The, the, the goal was very clear, that let's do what we can to ensure that, that Singaporeans can get access to the vaccines as early as we possibly can. If you think about an advanced purchase agreement, you're trying to buy something before the product's actually available. Almost like buying a movie ticket even before the reviews come out. So, so in a sense, uh, I think it, it is actually based on uh, quite a number of considerations. The science, the clinical uh, data, extremely important. But subsequently, we had to look at how soon can we actually get it to Singapore. If we want to buy, is it available? Because uh, it could actually be bought up by uh, bigger jurisdictions. I mean, if you, you can tell, for example, from the, uh, from the uh, global media, the US, EU, uh, many of the larger economies have bought huge chunks. So, so essentially, to sort of even put ourselves in the early order book, uh, you need to make decisions as early as possible.